Picture this. You're at your girlfriend's house for Easter. <laughs> the two of you are laughing, eating chocolate eggs, you know, and talking about the baby Jesus. When all of a sudden, she suggests an impromptu coitus session on her parents' bed. <laughs> Hot, right? Yeah. But what do you do? What do you say? What if her parents hear you? All that more when we come back. We're back. So, how do you do it when you're at your in-laws for Easter brunch? The answer is simple. All you need is a regular sized towel. Got your towel? Great. Since sound is the number one concern, you're going to want to start by placing the towel under the door. This should help keep her parents from hearing you in the middle of your intercourse. If that doesn't work, then simply take your towel and place it firmly over your partner's mouth. This is a surefire way of muffling any sex sounds before they reach your in-law's ears. Create a safe word in sign language so that your partner can let you know when she's running out of air. If simple muffling doesn't work, you can always use your towel to take care of your in-laws. Simply twist the towel and wrap it around your in-laws throat like so. <laughs> and then they should gently expire. Yes, that's, that's very good. And now apply some pressure and yes, oh good, yes. Now and they should, yep, gently expire. Fire. There you go. Great. Great work. Now I don't recommend this last option because it is noisier than sex. And illegal. So there you have it. A simple towel can create a casual, stress-free sex environment for having intercourse at your in-law's house. <laughs> now if only I could teach your mother-in-law how to make a good Easter ham. This is awful. But I won't let it go to waste. <laughs> you know. I'm a Jew.